Miss Patricia Holmes, and this is part two of chapter one. So where we left off is we have uh, added some three images and we tilted and animated them a little bit. Now we're going to work on the star layer. So I want you to go up here to the top layer. I want you to come over here to frame 36 and I want you to go insert timeline and I want you to click a blank keyframe. That what you're going to do is you're going to see an empty circle right here on frame on frame 36 in the star layer and we're going to add something to it. So we're going to add some stars. So what I want you to do is I want you to come over here to the the tool window. Now if tools isn't selected, come over here and select it and this will pop open this toolbar. I want you to come down here to the color box. I want you to pick a yellow of your choice. Then I want you to come over here to the rectangle tool. So normally it's going to look like this. I want you to click rectangle and I want you to come down here and I want you to click poly star tool. Good. Now what I want you to do is I want you to go to window, go into properties. Now we have our tool on the properties. I want you to scroll down here at the bottom. There's our polygon, but this time I want you to click star. So the star option is only available by us choosing polygon on the tool. The number of sides of our star is going to be five and the points will be 0.5. So type in a five and a 0 0.5 here, okay? Great, now we have everything set. Now we're gonna draw some stars on here. So on the top layer, frame 36, make sure you put that blank keyframe in. I want you to take your mouse. I want you to hold and drag. Now you can make these stars any size you want. It's your movie, then let go. Let's add a smaller one over here. Now come over here to a couple frames later Let's go two frames over. Let's go insert, timeline, blank keyframe again. And now I want you to add a few more. Now, I know what you're saying. What happened to my two I just added? They're there. See, They're gonna, we're gonna just go back and forth. You can do that. Or what you could do is we can do a little bit of both. We can have fun. We can do anything we want. So we can add those two here, two here. Let's add a couple more, kind of have it flash around. Then we'll have our grand finale. Insert blank keyframe again. Drag a few stars someplace else, maybe over here and over here. Okay, let's see what we got. Yeah, we're bouncing all over the place here with this. And then that last set of stars is going to stay for the rest of the movie. So let's just add a few more stars that so it stays. So I want to get back on this last frame here. Let's add a few more just to have fun. Okay. Guys, let's look at our movie. So I'm going to take this blue, it's called a playhead. I'm going to drag it back to zero. I'm going to hit enter. And we have some flashing stars. I'm not crazy about the stars flashing here. Uh, let me take a look at this. So they flash here and we decided to go away new ones and then these all pop up. Let's get rid of the first two. So this is what I want you to do, because this is the way I, you learn, is by playing around with it. So click on this frame. Now I want you to right click, and I want you to hit, you can do a couple things. You can cut the frame, you can clear the frame. Um, this is all the frames, so let's just uh, hit clear frame. There, we got rid of that one. And let's go ahead and clear this one, clear frame frame. Now we just have one and these stars pop in at the end, but I actually want these stars to pop in a little bit sooner. So I'm going to just drag it over here to about 30. Let's see if we like that. Yeah, 
I'm still not liking that. I want those I want those stars staggered a little bit. So let me show you how you stagger them a little bit more. Well, you actually kind of stagger them the way we stagger these layers. You can add another layer, add a few more stars, and have them come in later. I think I'm going to let you guys play around and do that. But this is what I want you to do. I want you to go File. I want you to go Save As. And I want you to name it Chapter 1 Finished or Chapter 1 Fen. Fen is always short. And that FLA file, I want you to save it. So I've been saving my stuff at downloads. I want you to save it. I want you to send me this finished FLA file. Um, and what, because I want to look at your layers. And what I'm really looking for when I'm grading them is that everything needs to be on its own layer. Because if we mess up, let's say we didn't, let's say we totally messed up the stars layer. We can simply come over here, click that layer, hit the trash can and delete just the layer and then redo it. So early on, we're learning the significance and importance of having its own layers and naming them. Okay. Hey guys, we just finished up chapter one. Save your work, turn it in, have fun while you're doing it. And yeah, thanks for listening.